Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. I'm back, and I'm excited, and there's a lot of new things that I want to be doing. And today we'll be starting it off with this. And this is the Farragut, the American Tier 6 Destroyer, because we've been doing a lot of battleships again. And I know I don't want to make it too boring for people who are not actually playing battleships. So today we'll be looking at the Farragut, because, well, why not? I think this is the second American destroyer we're actually looking at, because the first one was the Sims, the premium tier 7. Unless I forgot something, which is entirely possible, because there's a lot of videos out by now. So, the Farragut. She was... Uh, she was a relatively busy destroyer in the Second World War. She was in Pearl Harbor, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And she was involved in pretty much, as far as I remember, most of the campaigns in the Pacific until the end of the war. She was over in the Coral Sea, she was in the Battle of the Philippines, she was there in the island hopping campaigns, she was doing escort duty, she showed up in Australia at some point. A really, really busy little ship. So what is she like in World of Warships? Well, she's an American destroyer to start with. American destroyers are... How shall I say that? They're not great at anything, but they're not also terrible at, <laughs> at anything. They're really, really somewhere in the middle. Let's have a look. She's got uh, 13,700 hit points. She's sturdy for a destroyer. American destroyers tend to be relatively sturdy. Not as sturdy as the Soviet ones, maybe, but still quite sturdy little ships. She does 36 knots, which is not terrible. She has an excellent acceleration and turn time in my setup. And she's very, very small and maneuverable, like a destroyer should be. She has good guns. She's got five guns, 127mm standard destroyer guns. They have a fast reload of five seconds. They do a good amount of high explosive damage. They do, uh, they do some good armor piercing damage. The turret traverses up at 18 degrees per second. So these turrets actually swing around very, very quickly. Unlike, say, for example, the Japanese destroyers, which, have, which tend to struggle with turret traverse quite a bit. She has two quad launchers for torpedoes. Their range is not great. She only has six kilometer range. Uh, I think that puts her definitely behind the Germans, I think, at this tier. Definitely behind the Japanese and probably ahead of the Soviets, but still six kilometer isn't, an, isn't a great range for a destroyer. So, but um, it's, it's, it's workable. They do an okay amount of damage, 51 seconds, is an acceptable reload time. They're not outstanding, but um, they're not terrible either. She has some relatively decent anti-air. And I've got the surface detection right, uh, down to just over five kilometers. So you have almost a kilometer to work with between your detection and torpedoes. So if you know what you're doing, you can actually stealth fire on this thing. What uh, elite bonus do I have? I have gone with the destroyer modernization because it gives a couple of hit points and it makes the uh, torpedo tubes traverse a bit faster, which also means that I can focus the uh, the main battery or traverse with the module. The AA damage isn't really the the thing that you need on these things anyway, so this seemed to be a, this, this seemed to be a good um, a good kind a good little choice. In terms of modules, I have the main battery uh, mod 1, which is here, because you already have a 5 second base reload, so it's just here to make the, tur the turrets turn. Because for me, this is a very aggressive ship. You have to be, because you only have a 6 km torpedo range, and a 7 km gun range, so you'll be mostly in close proximity, which means you've been maneuvering a lot. The second slot for me is in the propulsion mod, because I really like playing with speed with these things. If you are fighting destro other destroyers at close range, your propulsion and your uh, dropping speed and gaining speed is one of your main advantages when it comes to dodging torpedoes. She already has a three second turn time. There's really no point in messing with the rudder shift any further. And the third slot here is in concealment. It would have been nice to be in speed, but I really wanted the concealment down to the point where I can stealth fire if I have to, if I have to, or if I want to. And that's what this gives me. So if I stop shooting my guns, I can disengage at just over five kilometers range, which can be really, really useful if you need to get out of dodge very quickly. 
the supplies, standard destroyer loadout. I'm running a high grade coal to even get to get the surface detection down even further. I've got the crew rations for reload, mainly here for the torpedo reload, and I've got the diesel for ship speed and traverse. My commander is um, actually not fully trained. He's almost fully trained, but he'll get there. Actually, for this, let's just uh, spend the 850 XP to quickly get him fully retrained. There we go. Um, the nothing surprising in the first two slots. I've got uh, preheating, so I, so I get off the of the start quicker. I've got the victorious charge to uh, to recover some hit points when you destroy something. And I have the daredevil skill because when I'm low on, on hit points I can actually still sustain the battle for quite a while using this because it, the thing is it's really extremely maneuverable. Further up, um, Mistweaver will be a good skill to have because she has smokescreen. And obviously things like the Giant Hunter skill or maybe the IFHE for, for higher ones might, might be interesting as well. The camouflage I'm running is just the um, regular Seaborn Assault. So there are no really, no really any surprises there. So how does she match up with other Tier 6 destroyers? Let's have a quick look around in the tech tree, if you're not too familiar with these things. And uh, let's see what else we got. So we have the, we have the Fubuki on the Japanese. Which is a good ship. I like the Fubuki. She has less hit points. She's not as well armored. She's not as fast. She's not as maneuverable. The guns are reloading a bit slower. And she has one less gun. But the torpedoes are great. So she's got nine 610mm torpedoes, which do a hell of a lot more damage than you get on, on the fire good. And they have over 8 kilometers range. Other than that, She's not that great. The Germans. The Germans. The Ernst Gede. I haven't actually played this ship, so I can't really tell. But she has decent speed, decent maneuverability. She's got 150mm guns on her, which is very good when you're fighting against other destroyers. So um, be careful against one of these things. And um, she has good torpedoes with a 6.9km range. Also two quad launchers. And lastly, for the Soviets, we have the Gnevny, which is an amazingly fun ship. She's uh, rugged, she is very fast, she's got four great 130mm guns, which are significantly better than the American destroyer guns, with a better range, much better damage, better fire chance and everything. Uh, the torpedoes are garbage, which means you basically have to sail right next to something, but you're fast enough, and if you're ruthless enough, that you can just um, rush battleships and uh, torp them for a bit of additional damage. That's something you can do. Other than that, uh, she doesn't have much to go for. So, the Farragut really is a ship in the middle. She has two, uh, three engine accelerator uh, charges and two smoke screens, which means you can quickly get into, th into problems or out of problems, and you can smoke up if you need to, I mean, between torpedo, re torpedo reloads, and uh, go and use your guns for a little bit. So, a very, she's a good ship, and she's not outstanding in by any means. But she, I think she's a good ship, and I'm having fun in it. So, without further ado, let's go for some destroyer day, destroyer gameplay. Okay, uh, what do we have? The bottom tier. There's a bot carrier, lots of bots, but a Sims, another Farragut, and a New Mexico. So, that's gonna get interesting. And we're playing Aurora. <laughs> okay. So this is tempting to go down the side. But, um, lots of enemy destroyers. Lots of bots as well. So we're gonna stick with high explosive here. Unless we run into the Sims or the Farragut. What have we got here? Is anybody of is any of our real players going down the side? Yes, looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna go scout middle, and uh, we'll see what we find. I'm not in a huge hurry because there's so many destroyers that um, I don't want to run too far from the cap circle. <laughs> gonna get some interesting little battles here. The carriers obviously aren't sending anything out because there's, nothing's been spotted so far. And I'm relatively certain that with 5 kilometers I can outspot pretty much anybody in this game. 
Plus I have a smoke screen if I need one. So um, like there's the enemy Fargot. We can spot Fargot. Hello. Let's go and say hi. There comes some torps. Should do with the bot. Oh, he survived. That's okay. The situation is under control. We can do with it. We can do the rest with the guns. Not a problem. That's what we got the very good turn rate for. Let's keep an eye on the minimap where we're going here. And there we go. That's one down. And we actually hit something still with our torps. Okay. There is the Sims. I've still got a second torp load up, so um, might just be gonna go and rush this Colorado over there. So that's a bot. Uh, the Sims is the Sims after me. He might be. He might have been dropping torpedoes my way. So let's just pop our smoke. Let's see where the bot goes. Now we're proximity detected. So let's drop two torps into the bot. That should hopefully get him flooded. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I might have gotten a little bit too close here, but well, that's okay. Unfortunately, uh, he's blown up my my rudder, so <laughs> I'm going to be driving around in circles for a bit. But the bot's going to be dead anyway. Okay, bot's dead. Okay, rudder fixed. Is under control. Let's go for the carrier. Don't have much health left, but we've got a little bit. And there's the independence. Oh, let's get in here and let's see what we can do with this thing. Don't want to get. I don't want to fire the torpedoes until the independence starts moving. Yes, there, she, there he starts moving. Starts accelerating. Enemy aircraft incoming. Now I'm dropping torps on him. Oh! Engine boost There's not much health left, but hopefully that should be enough to deal with the independence. Yep, that should be the end of the independence. And I think the, Fargo, the enemy Fargo is coming back to deal with me. Which isn't going to do him any good. Yes, he's going to kill me because he's got way more health than I do. There we go. But I think we've done enough. Um, <laughs> uh, and Fubuki comes in to, to help out as well. So let's see if he can deal with him. You see, I'm, I'm not super concerned about these things. It, um, he's a good little destroyer. You can, get, you can get some damage done with the torpedoes. Oh, well, he's never going to hit with that spread, is he? Unless the fire god is not moving anymore. Really? <laughs> well done, well done. That's not how you dodge torpedoes. <laughs> well done, well done. And we, we still managed to get MVP. You you can play very aggressively with the ship. You can, and you basically have to. Uh, I uh, I love the I love the detection range. I love the fact that I can get um, that I can outspot almost anything in this game. Uh, that that comes around in the uh, in these tiers, unless they are actually having a dedicated stealth setup as well. <laughs> and uh, the torpedoes are not the absolute murderous torpedoes you have on the Japanese ships, but they do a sufficient amount of damage. I mean, we've done fifty-two thousand damage with the torpedoes, and we've still got almost nine thousand damage to get done with the guns. And that was in an extremely destroyer-heavy game, so we did good. Uh, yeah, our team did good as well. And the enemy team... Well, that was lots of bots, so that's okay. Anyway, let's do another one. Ah, uh, here we go again. Uh, what is it? Oh, we're top tier. There's one tier 5, though. Only in the enemy team. A lot of good players. No aircraft carriers this time. And there's a Nuremberg around. So this is something we do not want to see. Don't be confused by people having the beginner label. Uh, that's a common practice among higher, uh, higher level players. Just to throw off the casuals and not get focused as much as possible. I tend not to not to even use the Nyx anymore. So uh, I'm gonna throw the armor piercing out. 
uh, if we hit, if we face enemy destroyers at close range, uh, they they can do some. Yeah, no, I'm not going into B. No, uh, no one's going into C. I'm going A. A is where I'm going. Uh, it's all good. I'm going A. Uh, just to make, just to see what's coming there and to scout and to make sure that um, uh, because I do have the best concealment here to make sure that uh, nothing's coming and not flanking us. With uh, three destroyers, what do we have? Fargood, Geta, and Minikaze. So, we're gonna have to watch out what's coming around here. And there's the Minikaze, okay. I can take this guy. Hello. Oh, there comes the Geta as well. It's two on one, that's not fair. Okay. Let's drop the Geta. Let's see if he's sailing in a straight line. Yep, there come the Gator Torps. Has the Minikaze fire Torps yet? Don't know, but we seem to have thrown the Gator off track. Oh, there come the Minikaze Torps. Yeah, that's an easy dodge. Nope. Oh, that might be close. I might take one. Yeah. Well done. Well done. And we did hit three torpedoes on something. Can't remember if that was the Gator or not. But now we chase the Minikaze. And the whole enemy team is coming here. So we're gonna have to bugger off anyway. Because we got them all coming after us. Now where's the Minikaze going? Let's see if he's going this way. I'm just gonna smoke up at this point. See where he's going. Oh, that guy definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, because now we have Nuremberg problems. And there's the other fire good coming. <laughs> ah, this might get hairy. We gotta get out of here. Uh, just keep firing up at the enemy fire good. We spot it. Uh, where's the Minikaze going? It's this way. Uh, okay, these are the Nuremberg Torps. Fire goes down. Just have to make sure not to run into this guy. You see, we can, we can even, we can even sit at the light cruisers in this thing. Okay. Uh, let's assume that she's turning in. Start opening fire. Where's the Minikaze gone? I don't know. This is not a ship we definitely we necessarily want to. So I, I wasn't. I'm not expecting to hit much with these torps. I just wanted to make sure he's not coming any closer because this is not a ship I want to tangle with necessarily if I don't have to. So he's in the turn. He's missed. So let's just stop firing, get undetected. Uh, come on, where's my bloom? There we go. Now we can reposition and can see what we're gonna do next. So how's it look like? We're three ships down to there too. Minikaze is going the other way. So I'm gonna go head back and see that we can cap A. Boost the battleships should be able to deal with the Nuremberg, hopefully. So I'm just gonna go back and, uh, and see that we can cut A. So the Nuremberg is far, is probably about as fast as I am, so... Well, not not, not with the engine boost active, but... Um, let's see if we can distract him a little bit. Hello! Just um, see if we can pull this up. Okay, at that distance, I'm gonna need to start using the yeah, explosive. So I'm not gonna do any damage. Okay, there he is, he's dead. Well done, the battleships. Okay, I'm gonna grab the cap back. Was it on points? Yeah, we definitely want the cap back. I don't think I'm gonna be back in time to do much about the battleships over there. I've lost another ship, that's unfortunate. 
I won't get... What? We lost another one. Oh, crap. Oh, this doesn't look good. I only have 50 seconds and they're all at the other end of the map, so... Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be enough. But, uh, that was, en that was entertaining. <laughs> it's, um, that mini castle player was good. It's, um, remember how he fired the torpedoes? Yeah, he fired his two... I know that he has three torpedo spreads. He fired his first two spreads, which were relatively easy to dodge, but then... He fired his third spread in such a way that um, that he actually caught me with, uh, I think, one torpedo still. So, oh, 566. Oh, <laughs> okay. Don't die. Don't die. Destruct the battleship. Seven seconds. Don't die, our battleship. We pulled one back, and because I got the cap, that's just enough. We hit the yes! <laughs> that was great. Um, that was just in time. So, what did we do? Uh, we kept people busy at ACAP. We kept two destroyers occupied for a little bit. We kept the Minikaze away. And um, that, was a, that, was a, that was a good game. GG. Well, it was fun. Well done on the Fuso. And especially on that uh, final, on the New York, on, fi on pulling back that final kill. Well done. Let's do one more because I'm having so much fun. Okay, a couple more players. Uh, another Nuremberg, an Omaha, and a Minikaze. And a New Mexico on the enemy team. Alright, let's see what we can do. Playing straight. So we've got four people on the other side. Which pro means we're probably gonna run into the Nuremberg with my luck. Who do I have with me? Uh, New Mexico and the Emerald. Okay, that's a... So we've got almost all the human players here, so I should be getting some backup. So I'm going to go out and spot for these two. Um, what was that? Fubuki is a bot. Omaha, Nuremberg. Okay, there's one of the battleships. I'm going to stick with high explosive, because there's a couple of bots here, and see if we can set something on fire. Even though we have a very low fire chance. Nothing cupping C yet. So let's run into C. Let's just hide behind the island. Okay, someone is in C. And it's the bot Fubuki. Waste a spread of torpedoes on him. Maybe. But I'd much rather be interested in the Nuremberg. And bot Fubuki has been spotting me. Yeah, that's bad news. That's also bad news for him, because he's dead. Okay. Smoke out, because I do not want to be anywhere near the Nuremberg. Where am I spotted? Who's proximity spotting me? Oi! Why am I spotted in smoke? That's not cricket. Alright. That was unnecessary. Okay, but we capped the area, so let's see if we can drop some torpedoes into these fools. Of course, I have to watch out with the Nuremberg. Okay, and the battleships are also paying attention still. Let's drop them from here. I haven't seen if that was a bot or not. Oh, that was a bot. Okay, maybe he's running into my torps for a change. Otherwise, we'll just set him on fire. Oh, well, he's running into a couple. And I'm getting a flat, that's a perma flood. So, while our torpedoes are reloading, we'll do another run up over there while we're shredding the bots. Oh, can't love that. Speed! Engine boost activated. Oh crap, there's the Nuremberg. Nope, 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 nope. Abort, abort. <laughs> Just drop the New Mexico and run. Okay, Nuremberg's torping. Ooh, that was close. Okay, that's a lot of torpedoes. Oh no, the New Mexico gets me <laughs> with the secondaries. Oh well. <sighs> That was too much opposition down here. 
and our team has completely collapsed. <laughs> yeah. That's that's not something we That Fuso survived? How? <laughs> How did he survive? Oh my gosh. What happened to our team? Where's the emerald? Oh, he sunk something. Good job you. But um this doesn't look too good. Let's see if we can still pull it off. Come on, that Fuso's on super low health. You just need to hit him a couple times. Man, sorry, I thought our New Mexico had the Fuso. And I was... I thought... Why are you going so close? I don't get that close. Let's kill the Fuso. Let's kill the Fuso with guns and then torp the New Mexico. No, don't torp... Why are you torping the Fuso? No, that's a bot. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna dodge. He's on no health. You just need to shoot him once or twice. And then you and then he's giving broadside. Oh dear. Well, he got the Fuso at least, but... Good lord, you just had to shoot him once. <laughs> oh, well. It was worth a try. <laughs> but yeah. Not New Mexico is all the way over here. <laughs> I just want to see how this ends. Now, theoretically, he's full health, right? So the Emerald could have totally just killed, just torp, torp the, keep the distance, smoke up, torp the New Mexico, and shoot the, fu shoot the Fuso down with guns. Okay, that's the Nuremberg. Nuremberg sees firing iron piercing at you. You're in a New Mexico. Okay, you can kill this guy. Well, no, you're only, you're gonna have to hit him though. Yes, you're gonna hit, you're gonna have to kill the Nuremberg for us to even have a remote chance of getting there, and you're gonna have to cap that. I don't know what you're doing, but you want to get your guns to bear. Yeah, not like that. Nuremberg's gonna torp you. Okay, bow into the torps, but you're way too close to this thing. Well, you can take a couple of torps, but now what? Now your guns are pointing in the wrong direction, and he's out, he's he's outrunning your turret traverse. Your rear guns around. Turn the ship. Turn the ship. Don't try to. Tr don't wait for the guns to turn. Turn the ship. Right, oh, okay. He's on point blank. Your rear guns have got him. Come on. There's two citadels. Stop turning the guns. Turn the ship. He's outrunning your daughter. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, he's firing torpedoes again. Oh my gosh, this is, this is painful to watch. He's firing torpedoes again. So, in a situation like this, what you... Oh yes, well done that Nuremberg. In a situation like this, what you want to do is... Well, first of all, you want to kind of keep your distance. Or if you want to get close, you can't kill you with one spread. Just get your guns to bear, right? Get your guns to bear. It even did more damage than me, not bad. Uh, get your guns to bear and... Uh, and you know, just citadel it. It's painful to watch. Anyway, um, the Fargood. She's a great little ship. Uh, the only drawback really is the slaughter is the short torpedo range. She's a good brawler. She's a lot like the Soviet destroyers in that regard, in that you do need to get close. Uh, in terms of what comes next, the Mahan starts having a significantly better torpedo range with 6.2, uh, 7.2, uh, sorry, that's the gun range. With 6.6, .6, that is just starting to make sense. So, the 6 kilometers are harsh. The 6.6 .6 on the Mayhem, with a bit of, of uh, tweaking, we get the detection down. And it's it's 12 torpedoes instead of 8. That is starting to make to make a lot of damage. Still, you can have fun in the fire good. I am... Um, She's not overpowered, but she's a good, decent, general-purpose destroyer. She's You have to play her aggressively. You have to play her at close range. You don't have this weird massive torpedo spread from that you had on the Nicholas or the Clemson. You get the on, you get only the eight torpedoes, which is a bit little given the range and the, the damage they do, but it's doable. And you've got the guns, and you can just generally have fun with this very maneuverable little ship. So... Totally a ship that I'm enjoying, that I'm playing occasionally, and um, 
I'll be reporting back once we get the tier 7 to go. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. Have fun. Bye.